folks, welcome to the Android Guy, I'm your host HK. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Xpost on your Android device and how to extensively customize, modify and tweak your Android OS. Now if there's a big question mark over your head wondering what Xpost is, then it's basically an app through which you can apply a number of great modifications and tweaks directly to Android apps and Android system without having to format your device or flash a custom ROM. Through this, you can apply performance tweaks, you can extensively theme your Android, and you can even do stuff that's generally not possible on Android, like adding a wallpaper to the notification tab. But the beauty of Exposed is, you can do all of that just by selecting the modification you want and hitting on install. Yup, that's as easy as it gets. For example, by applying this little mod called as Zoom for Instagram from Exposed, I can now double tap to zoom into photos on Instagram. Not only that, I can also download and save pictures directly from the Instagram app to my phone. Both of these features are still not available on the stock Instagram app. Another great example of what you can expect from Exposed is the YouTube app itself. By enabling this little mod called as Swipe to Seek for YouTube adds this really cool feature directly into your phone's YouTube app which allows you to swipe to left or right to forward or reverse the video. You can also swipe vertically to control the volume as well. A really neat and a much needed feature which takes the YouTube streaming experience to a whole new level. And that's just one of the thousands of mods and tweaks you can apply to add new features into your Android experience. But the biggest reason why people install Exposed in the first case is to use this single app called as Gravity Box. Now this app over here my friends gives you the power to modify almost every single thing on your Android OS. From the way your battery indicator looks, to boosting your device volume, to giving a complete makeover to your Android notification tab. Essentially through this app you can build your own custom Android version or in short your own custom ROM. We're gonna talk more about that after the installation process. So let's jump straight into the installation process. Now there are two major requirements for installing Exposed on your Android device. Number one, your device needs to be rooted. Now if your device is not rooted or if you don't know what root is, then you can click over here, here, here or there. Number two, you will need to have a custom recovery installed on your device. That is, if you're planning to install custom ROMs, modifications and all that cool stuff, then sooner or later you will need to install a custom recovery. But unfortunately, there is no single method that could install a custom recovery on all devices. So if you don't have a custom recovery yet, you know what to do. Now my Samsung Galaxy S7 over here is both rooted and has a custom recovery installed. That is, it's modification ready. So let's jump straight into the installation process. So for installing Exposed, you will need to download two files. File number one, the Exposed installer app. Now through this app, you're gonna be applying the modifications that we talked about earlier. The link to this and all that's gonna be mentioned in the video is in the description box under the thumbs up button. So download the app, open it up and tap on install. Once the app is installed, open it up, make sure that root permissions to this app is granted and you're gonna be welcomed with this red screen stating that Exposed Framework was not installed. Now folks, the Exposed app itself won't work without flashing the Exposed Framework.zip and that's where the second file comes in and also where the custom recovery comes in as well. So the game plan is this. Through the Android custom recovery, we're gonna be installing or flashing the Exposed Framework.zip file which is gonna make the Exposed app functional. As simple as that. Now unlike the Exposed app, this file right here is device specific. That is, it varies from device to device or more specifically, it varies based on the Android version your device is running on and your device CPU architecture. Now if you're wondering where I could find these, then no worry, you can find both of them at the bottom of the Exposed app. So as you can see, my device is running on 6.0.1 Marshmallow and it's rocking an ARM 64-bit architecture chip. Now a simple rule of thumb. If you have one of those older Android phones, then it's probably still on the ARM processor. If you have one of those newer Android devices, then it should be on the ARM 64-bit architecture. And finally, if you have one of those devices running on the Intel CPUs, like those from ASUS Zenfone lineup, then it's definitely on the x86-bit architecture. But it's better to check before you proceed. Now with your device Android version and CPU architecture in hand, head over to the third link in the description and download the exposed framework.zip file. 
Now my phone's on Android version 6.0 Marshmallow running on the x64 bit architecture. So technically I should be downloading this file right here. But wait, since we are using a Samsung phone which runs on a slightly modified version of Android, it requires a slightly modified version of the zip file. Now this only applies on Samsung devices, but for phones from manufacturers other than Samsung, go with the above links. Once the zip file is downloaded and in your device storage, turn off your device and boot into the custom recovery. In order to boot into your device's custom recovery, make sure that your device is turned off. Now if you have a Samsung device, these three buttons pressed together while your device is turned off will take you to the custom recovery. For Motorola phones, the button combination is this. For most generic Android devices, it's this. And if you have an iPhone, then you have an iPhone. Now folks, we have the TWRP custom recovery installed on our S7. You can have Clockwork Mod or Fills recovery installed on yours, which might look a bit different than mine, but more or less the basic set of options here are same across all the custom recoveries. Now since we had booted into the custom recovery, now we're going to be going ahead and installing or flashing the expose.zip file that we just downloaded. But wait, before you install anything via the custom recovery, Always, and this is very important folks, always take a backup of your current Android system by going into the backup section right here. Because if in case anything goes wrong, or you just want your Android to be the way it was before, simply boot into the custom recovery and restore the backup that you had taken earlier. So always, and folks this is very important, always take a backup before using the custom recovery. Head over to the install section and navigate to the exposed.zip file that you had just downloaded. It should be in the download folder and then tap on install. If you had downloaded the right file then the process will be completed in just a couple of seconds. Once the process is done, exit the custom recovery menu and restart your device. Now the first boot after flashing exposed might take between 10 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your device. So keep your phone in a cool and dry place till it reboots. Now at this stage if a device fails to reboot then you know what to do, simply head back to your custom recovery and restore the backup that you had taken earlier, re-verify the files and start again so there's nothing to lose there. So after your device has booted up, head over to the exposed installer app and this time around you're gonna be welcomed with this green screen stating that exposed framework is active. With that, congratulations, now you could literally make Android the way you want it. So let me show you how to use this app pretty quick. Tap over here and head into the module section. Here you're gonna find the mods and tweaks that you had installed. It looks pretty empty cause we have none installed so let's head over to the download section and install some mods. So moving over to the download section, here you're gonna find an almost endless list of tweaks, modifications and customizations that you can apply to your Android apps and the Android system. Each module comes with a brief description, detailed instructions and a download button. So using this app itself is pretty simple. Now if you are wondering which one to install first, then I highly recommend you to install the Gravity Box. Remember Gravity Box, the app that I was talking about earlier, the app that could change almost everything on your Android? Yep, that one. So based on your Android version, install the module. Mine's on Marshmallow, which is in short double M. So it's this one right here. Then swipe right and tap on download and install the module. After the module is installed, head back to the module section and tap on the module to get it activated. Then you can restart your device to fully activate the module. Once your device is rebooted, the module should be activated. In this case, you're gonna find a new app in your app drawer. Open that up and boom, now you can tweak almost every single component of the Android OS from the way your battery indicator looks to adding Android Marshmallow toggles to Android KitKat to adding a custom wallpaper on the notification tab. It's not even possible to show all the different things that you can do with Exposed in a single video. So if you want to know more about Exposed and its various tweaks and mods, then give this video a thumbs up and I'll soon make a part 2 to this video. And if you're watching this video before 2017, wish you a very very happy new year. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me to know. So yup, that's about it. I am your host HK from The Android Guy signing off and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.